Welcome to the Tell Me More Chromebook Challenge. Today we're going to learn more about how to use voice typing in Google Docs. Let me show you how. So I've gone ahead and opened a Google Doc that I've been working on about the water cycle on my Chromebook. Now, as you can see, I've already put a lot of work onto this document. So I'm just gonna put my cursor here at the bottom in the blank space. All right, to turn on voice typing, so that instead of using the keyboard, I can actually speak to the Google Doc and have my words captured as text, I can do one of two things. The first is I can go to Tools up at the top menu bar, and when I click on Tools, I will find voice typing about halfway down and I can go ahead and click voice typing. Notice that a microphone icon with the words click to speak underneath is added to the left side of my page. Now, before we go ahead and click this microphone to start speaking, I want you to know you can change the language that you're going to be speaking in. So let's say you are going to be speaking in Spanish. If you click where it says English, US, and we click that drop down arrow, notice that a wide variety of languages appears. In fact, over 80 languages. If I was going to be speaking this to this document in Spanish, I could choose Spanish. I'm going to leave it set to English because that's how I'm going to be speaking today. When I'm ready to start speaking to my Google Doc to capture my ideas, I'm simply going to click on the microphone. Now, because this is the first time I've used voice typing, notice that a pop-up window appears. Make sure to click allow to allow Google Docs to use your microphone. Once you click allow, that microphone's gonna start capturing all your thoughts and ideas that you speak out, out loud. All right, so now I can start talking about the water cycle and I can explain how when rain or snow falls to the ground, as the earth heats up, that precipitation actually evaporates. It goes back up into the clouds or the atmosphere. As you can see, the more that I speak, the more that is captured on my Google Doc. When I'm finished, I could simply click on the red microphone. That turns off voice typing. All right, so that was one way to capture voice to text in Google Docs. Another way is by using talk and type here in the read and write for Chrome toolbar. The talk and type icon looks like headphones with a microphone. You're simply going to click it and notice that that microphone icon appears again on the left side of your page. And again, to start speaking, you're just going to click that microphone. And again, Google Docs will capture what you're saying. Thank you for completing this challenge session. Make sure to check out the next video to learn more about your Chromebook.